I've got several things to talk to you about in this video, and they're all about the Panasonic Lumix GH6. The first is we did get an update from Four Thirds Rumors. A source has told them that the GH6 autofocus system is definitely much improved over previous versions, and he's talking from the perspective of a pre-production model. So it's not the final firmware update. We're likely not gonna see this camera in our hands, if we pre-order it, of course, until about a month later. But the autofocus system, while dramatically improved, does, well, have issues with certain types or certain scenarios, and this is the case with any autofocus system on any camera. On the GH6, if you're going to be shooting fast action or sports, anything that has a lot of fast movement coming in or leaving the frame, well, it does have a challenge. The contrast detect autofocus isn't really... It, it, this is one of the scenarios where it doesn't really work very well in. But as I said in previous videos where I showed you leaked footage of an actual test review from an actual reviewer that had the Panasonic GH6 in hands, it looks pretty good. But in this video, you can see that he's not coming in and out of frame. He's just walking back and forth. The walking back and forth test, the holding up the product test. So very good for YouTube, very good for a lot of, you know, ordinary filmmaker type scenarios and settings. But again, this is only one video. I look at this test result as a definite improvement. Now, there are times where it's a little bit jerky, like right here. But again, Panasonic is one of those cameras where you really kind of have to dial in the autofocus to get it to the way you want it. It's not like Canon. Canon gives you an autofocus system. When you turn it on, it's basically, it smooths in, smooths out, accelerates, decelerates. It just, you, you have to, if you want it to be a bit more sticky with the with Canon, you have to fiddle around with it. With Panasonic, you have to be a bit more sticky if you want to smooth it out a bit. And at this point, I'm, I'm kind of very optimistic. I think that the new autofocus system is dramatically improved, and I think for a lot of people, it's going to be very usable. And again, it's about results. Sure, I'd rather see a phase detect autofocus system or a time of flight autofocus system in this camera. There's no reason why it shouldn't have it. But that aside, I think it has improved dramatically. But the real big news is it's Sunday. It's not that big of a deal. It's kind of the eve ahead of the big event, the main event tomorrow. You see, tomorrow we're getting the Panasonic GH6. Rumors aside, facts aside, tomorrow's when we get to see it. We get Panasonic's own viewpoint of the GH6, and that's going to be really exciting. And it happens tomorrow, that's February the 21st, Eastern Standard Time at 8 p.m. So that's really exciting. Now, it's February the 22nd if you're in Australia or other parts of the world, but Talking Eastern Standard Time, that's New York, Toronto, Montreal time, Atlanta time, 8 p.m. in the evening. So I can enjoy, have a nice dinner, sit back and relax. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them have their announcement and then I'm going to live stream. And I'm going to have some guests with me where we're going to live stream and talk about the Panasonic GH6, what this camera means, and see if we can't gather up more information about other reviews. Because this is the really big thing, is the announcement as it comes at 8 p.m., is Panasonic's viewpoint, and it's gonna have their bias. What I'm really looking forward to seeing is what Jordan thinks, and Jordan likes Panasonic cameras. He always shoots with them. I'd be curious to see his viewpoint because what I like about Jordan is he recognizes that the autofocus system isn't for everybody, but he also recognizes the great results that you can produce with it. Look at his channel. You'll see it's almost always shot with a Panasonic camera, like a GH6 or an S5 or an S1H. And he'll tell you right at the beginning, and you can see that it produces really, really good results. And it's proof positive that you can produce really good results with a Panasonic camera, especially if you're pulling manual focus. But we'll get others chime in. We'll get Gordon Lang, and we'll get others. We'll get Kai. So I'm really excited to see how this camera performs with them. And I thought, uh, what a, a gift back to you guys, even though it's later at night. I'm going to do a live stream, and I'm going to get some guests on where we're going to talk about the Panasonic GH6 and what the results are, what this means for people shooting video. Now the camera is a little heavier. It's it's almost right up there with a the full frame camera. I think the previous, the GH5 was 595 grams, and this one's about 739 grams. So definitely a jump up. Uh, but to me, that's actually a positive. Uh, when I'm holding a camera uh, and it's got IBIS, that extra weight, especially with the weight of the lens, actually makes it a whole lot easier to stabilize. A lighter camera, you get a lot more of those micro jitters, but a heavier camera, you don't. That's why you see those guys with big honking cameras when they're with reporters or they're doing that run and gun stuff. 
you can see that the camera's moving ever so slightly like it's in slow motion. And that's without IBIS. And that's because of the weight of the, the camera. So really, really exciting news. So 8 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to finally get to see this camera. We're going to get to see it in the hands of people who've had their hands on it. Again, it's pre-production. So one thing we'll find out tomorrow is when exactly we can pre-order this, hopefully tomorrow. If so, I will have the links down below. And when will it be in our hands? How long will it take? Will it just be a month? And the rumors did say that we should be able to have it in our hands in March. The only question is, how many have they made? And if you don't order right away, I suspect that you could be waiting months. So really exciting news. But one last thing I want to say is I'm giving away an Angelbird AV Pro CF Express card, the 512 gig SE and the 160 gig SX. The GH6 now has a CF Express Type B card slot, and these are perfect for it. They normally cost around $179.99. But if you subscribe to this channel, you have a mailing address somewhere on the planet. If you're off world, sorry, you can't participate in the contest. And if you're 18 years of age, I will be giving away one of these CF Express cards at the end of the month. And if you're purchasing the Panasonic GH6, what a great way to get started. I, I got to tell you, um, with the GH5, you didn't have CF Express Type B. These cards are incredible. They are so fast. They are just very, very fast. Minimum sustained write speed on the 512 is 800 megabytes per second, not bits. That's fast enough for 8K60 video raw. Very, very fast and transfer speeds up to 1785 megabytes per second. Really, really fast. And the 160 gig card has a minimum sustained write speed of 1480 megabytes per second. And that's in camera performance. Very, very fast. So if you're getting the GH6, uh, if you don't win, I definitely recommend purchasing these off BNH or Angelbird's site itself. But make sure you search for AV Pro SE the 512 or AV Pro SX. They have a full line of AV Pros and if you don't search on the SE or the SX you're not going to find the right ones. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. Have a great rest, have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon. And soon. Why, why can't I say rest? Have a great rest. I can't say. I can't get that out. Have a great rest of your weekend. There we go. <clears throat> oh my god. Have a great wet. No, I, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna, I'm done anyways. Okay, uh, turn that off.